Folks here at OS Reviews, you're watching our video review of the Fingerprint Attendance Unit. This is something you can purchase on Amazon.com in the link below for about $90. And it's a great value if you have a company or you have a club and you can't keep track of all the members in terms of how many people are present, how many people aren't, and you simply have them uh, actually sign in just by scanning in their fingers after they have registered within the program. And uh, when everyone leaves, you can take the unit itself plug into your computer and view in an Excel document uh, how many people were actually present. So it's a great way to keep track of people uh, using a sim simple biometric scanner, which is quite uh, ingenious and pretty cool actually in concept. I didn't even know something like this existed, to be honest. Um, again, in terms, of, in terms of packaging, it's quite generic. It's pretty interesting though. It has this fingerprint in the center and this almost dragon-like design on the sides going on and some more information about the product on the sides, including it uh, supports flash disks or flash drives in terms of uh, storing data and exporting data. Inside the packaging, which is pretty large, we have access to um, a, a faceplate for you to actually install the product onto a wall. So if you want to mount it permanently on one location, you can use that included uh, mount. There's also some screws for doing that. If Again, if you want to mount it onto the wall instead of making it more portable. There's also a built-in instruction manual for you to uh, take a look at as far as how to set up the different settings and uh, get through to different manuals. Now, the actual built-in manual here is not very great in terms of English uh, fluency and language, and I have run into some issues with getting some programs to work. Uh, some of the instructions aren't exactly correct, but a more up-to-date manual can be found on the company's website, uh, which is far more easier to use. The actual product itself also contains an AC adapter that plugs into the wall. The length is on the shorter side of the spectrum. We wish it would be a little bit longer in the cord, but overall it still is a pretty decent uh, AC adapter in terms of quality. And of course we have access to the main unit itself sitting protected within two layers of foam. We take a look at the device itself in terms of design. Now, the product itself actually features a 3-inch TFT color screen. The screen itself, again, allows you to see the time and date information when the product is not in use. This makes the product also resemble kind of a standard clock or a desk clock when it's not, again, being used as a biometric fingerprint scanner. Overall, we do like the design of the slightly boxy look, and it has an extremely reflective and fingerprint-friendly finish on the sides here that's uh, quite transflective. But since this product will be used mainly indoors, it doesn't have an external battery pack, so it's going to be wired constantly. Uh, it's not going to have too much issues as far as being having to be used outside and outdoors. Otherwise, below here we have access to navigation of D-pad. All the keys and controls are risen above the surface. They have a pretty good travel and are tactile enough to be pressed um, and offer a pretty good response overall. There's up and down menu keys, which we'll see when the unit is powered on. And finally over here is the biometric fingerprint scanner. And when the scanner is actually on, it has a red diode for the laser. It's just going to scan your finger when you place it on here and you can use any of your fingers to set up with the product. The right hand side is bare, uh, the left hand side is bare, the bottom of the product features the charger port, a mini USB for connecting to a computer, and also a direct USB port. So you don't have to plug into a computer, you can just save information directly onto a flash drive or hard drive. The right hand side of the product, again, is also bare, the top doesn't feature anything, and the back is, again, quite reminiscent of some cheaper alarm clocks. It just has two loud speakers that are monotone uh, in terms of sound, you just make some basic beeping sounds, and also you have access to some uh, ventilation holes, and essentially that's it. Um, turn it back over and you have the unit itself as far as the design. The of the SKC3 biometric fingerprint reader attendance device is quite easy to use. The speaker itself is actually very loud. Now I have to say that the bundled user manual is not very legible. The instructions are printed kind of wrong, and not all of them are the most intuitive and easy to set up. Thankfully, the product itself is quite straightforward, and the menus are very simple and easy to get used to, so it's, it's pretty easy to actually see. As you can see here, the 3-inch display on the front here is actually quite bright and vibrant. The pixel resolution is pretty good. It shows up your time in a large widget-like icon view, which is kind of reminiscent of some HDC clocks, which is, I think, pretty simplistic and nice to have. Uh, nevertheless, you can actually tweak around and change the home screen here as well, so it's pretty nice. It shows your time, date information, also the date. Below here is the keypad, again pretty responsive, and you can see how when the product is turned on, the biometric fingerprint reader scanner is turned on and illuminated green. The glass over here is actually quite sensitive, it's also tempered, so it feels pretty durable and nice when you put your finger on there. Uh, overall, the product also remains pretty cool during usage, so it's it's pretty good. The screen itself isn't doesn't have that great viewing angles, but again, this is meant to be mounted on a wall, so not too much issues there. 
Taking a look at how the device functions, essentially after we've registered each person, we can just scan our fingers. It's going to read it for a moment, show up our finger scan, and it says, thank you. Um, it's going to tell me my ID. So in this case, I was the first person to register on this machine. So I was present. And actually to set up a event recorder is quite simple. We go into the menu key here, and we simply go into a manage, and we go and set up a date. For, for example, we can set up Halloween, so October 30th. I wanted to see how many employees were at work that day. So I set that up and uh, I set the log and turn that on. And afterwards, everyone that comes and logs in and scans your fingers will automatically be recorded and I can take that data out using, using a USB port. Or of course, I can take it directly out using a USB flash drive. So it's uh, very simple. And then I can plug it into my PC. It comes out in a nice Excel document that I can manage and see who, were, who was there and who was not. So a great way to customize and use this product would be for larger corporations. Again, with 2,600 people in there, uh, it's, it's quite impressive. Now again, setting up the device is pretty simple. We go to press, we have to press one to access that, and we can register people, or we can view the current users, or we can post some. So I'm going to register a new finger. You can also register a new password. That's not the most safest way to get this, but you can set unique passwords for each employee as well, or each person in a in a club. So for example, um, if I'm the fifth member, instead of putting my finger there, I can enter my unique code to log in, and it works equally as well. But again someone else with their code might accidentally log in for you if they find out your code, uh, whereas a fingerprint biometric scan is a bit more safe. And it's also the selling point of this device. So we're going to use one finger. Setting up is pretty easy. We're going to, this is ID4, which means we currently already have three IDs installed on the model. So we're going to press OK down below here, and it's going to tell me to put in my name. So we simply press on a corresponding key. One, two, and three correspond to different letters, J, K, and I, because it has uh, the T9 style layout. So I can press one. I'm going to press some random keys, and there we go. And afterwards, we are done. I'm just going to call it JF. So I'm, I'm OK. I'm going to press the OK key. It's going to save that. It tells me to scan my finger the first time. I'm going to use my pinky finger, put it on there, lift the finger the second time, third time and it's okay I'm enrolled so I want to press OK and now I can escape out of the system and now whenever I put my finger pinky finger there thank you. it's gonna say thank you I was registered so it's very fast very responsive again I registered my first finger index finger first under my own name and that works as well. So you can, again, use multiple hands, uh, but that's gonna take up a different account. You can use a different name for that. So um, so for one person, you, you really only can register one finger with one employee's name. Otherwise, pretty simplistic. Again, very powerful, very easy to use. Uh, again, it's best actually for people with slightly wetter hands. So if your hands are slightly wet, perhaps with a hand sanitizer, or if you washed your hands, or if your hands are a little bit oily, it works the best. Um, but if your hands are completely dry, like your skin is super dry, um, it's actually not going to read your fingerprint very well. You have to press it for a few seconds longer. So that's one of the complaints we had. Uh, for some reason, even though this is just pure glass, if your hands are really dry, it's not going to conduct. And for some reason, the device doesn't really want to read your finger um, but again you put it on here you can actually see the scan going on so that's pretty cool and then it's pretty fast in terms of recognition speed as well we also like how the speakers are nice and loud because we kind of have three of them so no matter where they are you will be able to hear them uh, if you want to turn that audible sound on and off and you can adjust the sound uh, sound settings directly again in the settings themselves so fairly easy to set up and easy to actually use uh, after you start experimenting the skc3 biometric fingerprint attendance reader is actually something that's very very cool and quite useful for larger corporations or for clubs, uh, for anyone who wants to keep track of who is present at a certain event on a certain date without having to take a regular pen log and actually write names down. This is a great way to do that. It takes a little bit of setup to get used to, including setting up the fingerprints the first time, um, but you can also set up a password, which is kind of interesting. After the product is actually set up, it's actually very, very simple to use. It's accurate. The data that comes out on an Excel document is actually pretty easy to see and manage. Um, it's computerized. It's simple. You can also use a USB flash drive to save it there, so that works as well. Um, a few down points of the product include the fact that we have to say that the built-in uh, user manual isn't that great, the English, so the settings could be a little bit confusing to some folks using the product at first, but playing around with it, I think that people will figure it out in about uh, 30 minutes or so, so it's not the hugest, uh, it's not the it's not the deal breaker here. Otherwise, the product performs quite well. Uh, we do like the design, we like the screen, we like the fact that uh, it doesn't take too much power, and overall, it's a nice handy gadget to have, again, if you want to have something that's pretty techy, pretty innovative uh, in terms of taking attendance, and especially useful for larger corporations, again, with, again, 2,600 fingerprints built in, where it can actually recognize up to 2,600 people, which is very, very impressive. 
overall a pretty cool product. It's not something that we've actually seen before, so it's uh, certainly very innovative, and we can't wait to see what the company comes out with next. You can check out our full written review down in the description below. Thanks for watching this video review here at OS Reviews.